Hello my dear students, welcome to the masterclass on VTuber Biology. As your professor for today's lecture, I shall be teaching you about the highly complex but immensely interesting topic of the life cycle of the VTuber fan. This species has been around for quite some time now, but recently their population has experienced a massive growth. They are a subspecies of the Homo sapiens sapiens, however recent studies show us that interestingly they are more similar to crippling chimps with the brain of an earthworm than humans. Scientifically, they are known as Homo sapiens sapiens, but other entries in the naming table may include just VTuber simp, VTuber shrimp, or mentally incapable twats that truly think that the characters these 2D women claim to be are actually who they really are. It's of great debate when exactly the first VTuber simps started to drift away from their much more evolved and superior ancestors, the healthy and well-functioning humans. However, many scientists agree that this phenomenon started happening with the appearance of the virtual identity known as Hatsune Miku around 2007. This early evolution of the species is widely accepted as the missing link between humans and sims. But back then they weren't called VTuber fans just yet. Around the same time as Hatsune Miku however emerged another virtual identity known as Annoying Orange. It's of serious discussion who the first ever VTuber is, so further research on this polarizing matter is necessary. In 2016, a new virtual identity appeared. This event marks a big turning point in the evolution of the VTuber simp. Regarded as the great overlord and worshipped by many simps, Kizuna Ai was the first virtual identity to ever use the word virtual YouTuber around this time. VTuber simps were not as widely spread in this early evolutionary stage as they are nowadays. Some people had heard of Kizuna Ai and the mystery that surrounded her character, but back then science did not call her fans VTuber simps. However, this would soon change around 2020, when a certain beer and a massive hangover that followed forced the entirety of humankind to lock themselves at home. With the absence of the intelligent and highly superior human species, the VTuber simps were able to spread much quicker throughout society. They spread like March has in uncontrollable numbers. Slowly but surely, Kizuna Ai started to lose the place under the spotlight as a new and bigger player appeared, Hololife. Thus, we have arrived at the modern day VTuber simp, Homo Simpians Simpians. The simp lava usually starts their simp journey following one of two ways. Using its biological sona, also called the YouTube recommended page, it may come across a stream or a clip of a certain VTuber. Since the natural diet of the VTuber simp consists of anime and Japanese Japanese trash, it will click on the stream almost immediately. Around this time, a specific hormone is triggered inside the simp's body. The VTuber simp will suddenly feel an always growing hunger for these mysterious beings and will begin its hunt for more. However, it will not start simping just yet. This hormone is scientifically called the nightstick hormone, but it's more commonly known under its colloquial name, the horny. The VTuber simp will want to have a taste of different kinds of VTubers. It will traverse the entirety of the internet looking for a way of calming this tremendous and sudden hunger of theirs. Some sims may encounter more of their goddesses on Twitch, others will just continue exploring the unknown lands of YouTube, while a select few may even try their luck on Shatterbait. This phase in a sims life cycle is known as the pilgrimage. Around this time, the common VTuber simp will drift away from its other mates as it will enter more specific simp clans. With this, they will be divided even further into subcategories of sims. The most common subclasses include the casual viewer, the hololiver and the clipper. There are too many types of VTuber sims out there for us to cover today, so we'll have to discuss that in a future lecture. It's around this time that a very peculiar event takes place in the young simplet's mind. To this day, science still can't clarify why this happens, but I'll try to explain it to you, my students, as best as I can. It appears that a certain neuron in the simp's brain gets activated, which makes them want the VTubers they watch to notice them. This starts a long and life-draining process science labels as donating. VTuber simps will give away as much money to VTubers during their streams as they possibly can, all in hope of their waifu noticing them and expectantly go out with them. Alright everyone, alright, settle down, settle down. 
down. Blue. Even though many of these seemingly 2D anime girls might already have a significant other in their lives or, you know, are simply not interested in random strangers on the internet. But all of this is unknown to the common simp, as many in this life stage will develop a certain coping mechanism against reality. If they have heard rumors that their favorite girl already has a boyfriend, they will act as if they are completely deaf or didn't know about it and will continue spending as much money as they possibly can on their waifus. VTuber simps call this act being a gentleman, but simpologists prefer to call this being an attention-seeking delusional prick. It's in this life phase that the normal and healthy human beings start suspecting that a VTuber simp may be just a malfunctioning money printing machine in disguise, as no simp seems to go bankrupt from spending the tremendous amount of money that they do. While this supposition may seem logical and plausible, in actuality all the simps really are doing is selling their pancreas and left testicle in the black market. This phase in an adolescent simp's life is a short one, but it does have a significant impact on each individual specimen. This is made possible by the aforementioned nightstick hormone, or simply called the horny, the effect of which is greatly enhanced during this stage. However, the hormone does settle down at some point in a simp's life. This signifies the VTuber simp leaving its young self and starting to mature, which basically means they get a harsh reality check and finally realize that they will never be able to be their favorite VTuber's knight in shining armor. It's in this point in their lifetime that the VTuber simp will begin to do something that seemed unimaginable in their earlier development stages. Thinking. They will want to support their favorite VTubers in other and more reasonable ways. As a result, they unavoidably stumble upon something called merchandise. They soon discover a wide variety of products relating to their favorite VTubers. From simple t-shirts and body pillows to socks and even questionable feed mouse pads. Because of the highly uncommon world situation in which the modern species of VTuber simps were raised in, it is still unknown how they will behave in gatherings with other members of their species, also called anime conventions. They may spend their money reasonably, but knowing their distant cousins, the anime fans, this will probably not be the case. As such, a series of experiments must be conducted on individuals of the species to determine more solid results. With this, we have reached the last known life stage of the modern day VTuber simp, known as the settlement. The simp will begin to form a preference towards a certain VTuber, which they will watch religiously. They may jump across various streams of other VTubers every once in a while, but once they have found their true and only gem, they will stick with them forever. They realize there is a certain VTuber in the ever-growing sea of VTubers with which they will feel most comfortable. They will start worshipping them as their one and only prophet, and will decide to settle down in these now very familiar lands. They basically make a blood pact with them and their fanbase, swearing absolute loyalty to the lord which makes them want to stay and fight for their favorite VTuber for as long as they stay alive. The now much older and wiser simp will begin to develop a certain language that lets scientists determine relatively easily to which VTuber clan they belong, signifying the zenith of the settlement stage. Common vocabulary used by the various simp clans includes KFC as an abbreviation for Kiara Fan Club, G, which stands for the national anthem of the Deadbeats clan, and A, which, if roughly translated into English, means something along the lines of, I swear officer, she's more than 9000 years old. Since the modern day simp remains a relatively new and mysterious species, scientists are still unsure whether or not other unknown stages in a simp's life exist. As such, my students, further studies in this field are in great demand. As future simpologists, you shall carry on with this groundwork and open new doors for science. That is all for today's lecture, class is hereby dismissed. But before you go, there is obviously a fee you must pay. No lecture is ever complete without the good old college debt. What you have to pay for attending this class is a simple like and subscribe. And while you're at it, tell me what you thought of today's lecture in the comments. How can I improve them? If you want to visit yours truly on Twitter, where I'm always active, you can find the link for that in the description. That's all for now, see you in the next lecture. Don't be late. Bye bye.